everybody this is just simply crafty creations i'm excited to bring you this new video i haven't posted a video to youtube in over eight months so um coming back to do a video i was excited to put this together i just been working on a few projects over the last few months since i've been newly engaged um since december i am getting married this october yes very soon um me and my fiance we knew from the time that we met each other over two years ago that if it came to this we knew that once we went there that we was going to do it it's gonna it was going to be quick so I'm having a small intimate wedding in Philly. I'm from New York, but I'm going to be having my wedding down where my fiance lives because it's much, much cheaper than doing it in New York. Plus, we got so much money. I mean, not so much money. Excuse me. So much more for our money. That's what I meant to say. But um, I'm doing this video because um, I'm very crafty and a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing for my wedding is going to be do-it-yourself projects. So, um, one of the things that I definitely wanted when um, I was planning my wedding was a brooch bouquet. I was like, no ifs or buts about it, I wanted a brooch bouquet. Um, I was not going to be spending 200 to $500 for a brooch bouquet when definitely I can do it myself. So, I will show you the finished product of my brooch bouquet that I did, um, that I've been working on, uh, working on for the last few months. Um, by collecting brooches and um, for you crafty ladies out there that want or would like to create your own brooch bouquet it's very easy it just takes some time doing that wiring and um, of the brooches and I even tell you where I got my brooches from believe it or not I'm very crafty I'm also um, besides being crafty I, I'm very great at shopping at a discount price and getting more for my money so a lot of my brooches I spent less than probably two three dollars for my brooches when brooches car can be very expensive so when you do see my brooch bouquet it looks very expensive but best believe I probably spent a little bit under thirty dollars uh, probably less than fifty dollars um, in the material for my brooch bouquet so I'm gonna show you that first with along with some other stuff like I'm doing um, my own bridal hanger um, wire hanger. I've never done that before. I've tried it. I bought some wire from Michaels and did a few of the rounds and it came out okay. I'll probably try it again to see if it comes out a little bit better. I'm doing the synthesis pieces since like I told you, um, my wedding is a very small wedding. It's about 50 to 60 people. Um, we're getting married at this beautiful lounge type of um, very Afrocentric place that looks like a little bit it, it can be somewhere in New York but it's really in Philly and I loved it. As soon as I walked in the venue I knew that that was going to be the place where I was going to get married and hold my reception. So with that said let's get this started. So let me show you what I've been working on um, which is my brooch bouquet. I'm done with it. I already have it sitting in a, in a plastic bag cover it so it won't get damaged and I used to have it sitting inside of a vase but I'm gonna do that after I get married because um I just didn't want real flowers not that um they're not pretty I just wanted something that I can walk away and keep because I remember being at my best friend's wedding and I laid my flowers down I had no clue where they were at at the end of the night I don't want that so my girls I'm going to do um their broke bouquets as well um, with artificial silk flowers um, and our colors are coral gray and um, coral gray and navy bow so I'll show you that but first let me show you my brooch bouquet so this is my bouquet beautiful beautiful pieces beautiful brooches um, like I said um, I brought all of my brooches and the material I bought from Michaels like the ribbon and um, this all of this right here is just like wide ribbon and regular ribbon this color right here looks a little bit dark but believe it or not it is um, navy blue um, that is my colors um, which is the color of my shoes I'll show you that as well um, but yeah I have uh, over um, maybe a hundred brooches on here you can see the details in it it sparkle a little bit 
but it is amazing. I love it. Um, this little colored one, this was a brooch I already had, and I was like, you know what, why not? Let me throw it in there. Um, what else? This one right here is, believe it or not, is silver and navy blue um, rhinestones. It was just a random brooch I found at like a 99 cent store. But the rest of the other brooches, um, believe it or not, I brought them from AliExpress. Um, as a businesswoman and a lot of the things that I buy for my crafting business, I buy from AliExpress and I'm not afraid to say it because you get so much more for your money. So a lot of these brooches, like I said, I spent under $3 for. So a lot of them came, like I would spend maybe um, how about ten dollars or eleven dollars or fifteen dollars for a set of twelve brooches, especially like these big two inch. You see, that is a very large thing. I even have my initials on there from where I hold it. That's my new initial, my initial to my new last name, or will be my new last name. So. I still play with it. I just can't believe how beautiful this came out. Some of these brooches on the top, like the pearl ones, are actually buttons that I wired that I bought from all from AliExpress pearl buttons and I wired to put in my brooch bouquet. Underneath, um, it is uh, um, hydrangeas, maybe I think two or three hydrangeas and then I just filled the brooches in on top of it. So. It's a little heavy, but not as heavy as, as you know, as expected. Um, so I still have to like play with it to get it to sit round and nice. But otherwise, it's sitting pretty. Let me just stuff those flowers in there. And this is just the wire ribbon with the bottom is pearl, so you won't see that. But I'm proud of the job that I've done with this is um, it came out better than expected so girls if you want a brooch bouquet do it yourself it just take the time if you have the time to do it and I'm happy that this is one project that is completed so I love it I can't wait to hold it and um, walk down the aisle with it in October so on to my next project that I'm going to show you guys is along with a brooch bouquet um, I wanted my theme wedding is um, keys to your heart, but it gives it this chic, um, rustic, um, vintage feeling. So a lot of the things like brooches and things like that, I incorporated into my wedding, including my cake. My cake is going to be in the colors of my wedding, and um, it's going to be a three-tier cake with a big, nice bowl um, with a brooch on it. So I'm excited about that. So let me show you my um, brooch broom that I did. Um, okay, so I bought a broom off of eBay for about 15, maybe $20. It already had like decorations on it, but that was not what I wanted. So I ripped that off and added my own touch to it so this is my broom so if I sit back like I said these are my colors coral um it looks so much better in person but I'm using my phone camera because I can't find my other camera with to videotape this but basically all of these beautiful big pieces and brooches all came from AliExpress um, and the ribbon came from Michaels and like I said I wanted a brooch broom I would be jumping the room broom and I think it came out amazing to keep these brooches on there what I did was I placed them where I wanted them to be by actually pinning them on the broom first and then I took a hot glue gun clear and just glued them in place so that they would not move you can shake it and it's not going to fall off so i'm really proud of this project let me actually put this back in the packet because um it's so delicate and i don't want to mess anything up so and it sheds a lot the broom the 
the bristles on the broom or whatever you want to call them does a lot so I'm gonna stick that in that corner along with that um, I've been working on my centerpieces I'll show you guys that as well so like I said these are going to be the centerpieces um, oh I'm sorry I found this for $1.50 a pack of six at Michael's in the clearance section they are little chalk boards and I'm going to place them on the table with the number right in, in chalk on there I'm going to put um, hydrangeas and different flowers in the color accordance of my wedding inside of the jar. This is a mason jar. I bought a set of 12 from Michaels, no, not Michaels, um, Walmart, and I spray painted them in the colors of my wedding. The twine was expensive at Michaels, so I found it at the 99 cent store and just Put that on there and I'm going to be writing numbers like I said I'm having a small wedding and the tables at my wedding is going to be like these um, club style type of tables and not big tables so this would be perfect not too big but just a perfect size centerpiece so this is one of them and that color and here is another one in the silver color these are all spray painted by me with the twine and I think I have a blue one so I'm still working on these here's the blue one and they all have oh sorry different pieces on them so those are my do you do it yourself projects which is a lot um my favors so it's like I said, it's a small wedding. It's going to we're going to be giving out little Verdi mini Verdi bottles. Um, I haven't figured out. Um, I have an idea of how I want to package it. I just have to find the packaging to do it. Um, but I'm going to. I have personal labels that's being created, um, which is by my BFF. She is also into this event planning and. Um, business as well as I am as a side thing that we do and I'm so excited to get those so that I can put those on my bottles and these are the straws that I found at Michaels for $1.50 you just have to shop around these are in my colors this is like a coral peachy color these are paper straws that I'm going to wrap around the bottles with the mini birdie bottles and here's some more of this color it's gray gray and white they didn't have blue but I said you know what I just stick to these two colors um what are the projects that I can show you ladies and guys um oh I'm doing our the guys boutonnieres and the mother's um, corsages wrist corsages I haven't completed those projects as of yet but I have completed my girls bouquets I just have to put the finishing touches on them um here are one of the bouquets beautiful beautiful I'm going to add um, three brooches to them so that they can have this as a keepsake and these are artificial flowers that I got from Michaels and um, I forgot that other craft store that I bought, purchased some of my flowers from like I said um, I'm still like shaping them but basically this is my girls bouquets and I, it looks much much better in person I just have to yeah, shape them but ultimately this is my first time actually doing this and so far so good and let's see here are some leftover brooches that I bought it from um, AliExpress that I'm going to be wiring and putting inside of the girls um, bouquets and I also made my toss bouquet. This is going to be my toss bouquet. Um, I'm still adding the finishing touches on it and it's still incorporating my color. Um, I haven't put any blue in anything because um, the blues 
um, that the flowers tend to come in are a little different shade than the blue that's in my wedding. So I'll see. Um, but as of right now, this is my torso bouquet. I haven't finished. I have to, like, they're all sitting in the bin, so they kind of like smushed up. So I gotta like fluff it up. So I'm, I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. But I just wanted to share those projects with you. Um, I will put in the link below the idea and the tutorial that I've followed to do my brooch bouquet along with just doing my research and just looking at other people on how to wire the brooches and you just after you do like 10 you become real good at it and start coming up with your own unique way to wire those to make sure that they securely fit inside of your um, bouquet. But um, last but not least, I will show you, I'm working on my bridal hanger. Uh, sorry, I'm out of the camera. Just give me a second, I'm trying to reach down in the bin and get it. Uh, okay, so I've, I've nev never done this before and, oh, got it wrong. And I think I did a fairly good job at making my bridal hanger out of the wire so I'm gonna do it I still have time practice some more and see if it could come out any better than this other than that it will go on there along with a ribbon or whatever I decorated at the top so until next time guys thanks for watching my just simply crafty crazy wedding do-it-yourself projects thanks for watching bye